Now for the back nine of the final round of the Kayak Point Open, being held at Kayak Point Disc Golf Resort near Stanwood, Washington, and it was held on the 15th through the 17th of July, 2022. And now picking up where we left off. First of all, coming into the final round, the scores were Carter Aarons was in first place at 17 under par, and then a three-way tie for second place with Kai Kim, Josiah Nelson, and Kirby Snyder all at 14 under par. So now after the first nine of round three, the scores were Carter Aarons got a one under par so far, and Josiah Nelson is one over par, and then Kai Kim is two over par, and Kirby Snyder is three over par. So the cumulative totals now are Carter Aarons in first place at 18 under, Josiah Nelson at 13 under in second place, at Kai Kim is 12 under in third place, and Kirby Snyder is in fourth place at 11 under. You'll also see here from the second card, Nicholas Duran is one over par, so he's making his way up the ranks. Let's see how things play out. This is hole number 10, 675 feet, par four. It's a long downhill. This is hole number 11, a ridiculous 762 feet. It's par four, and interesting thing, this is one of the more commonly birdied holes, and it's the second longest hole in the course. Join me. Kai is the one lefty in this group, and even though this is a curve to the left, he got the best drive <laughs> off the tee. That's Carter's brother following along. He finished his round a little earlier, and now he's out supporting his brother.
Great putt. Thanks to some pretty impressive putts on this hole, everybody's finishing this hole with a birdie. It's a tough disc to see because it's clear blue plastic. He just parked that. What's impressive about that is that this is, while it, this is hole number 12, it's 234 feet, so it's not far at all, but they are throwing from down below where it's about 20 feet down, so they cannot see most of the fairway. There's a staircase that you walk up to come up to the fairway up here. Oh, great. Great run. That is Carter's lie from his tee shot. Obviously, he's played that hole a few times. He knows how to play it. And we got a birdie out of it. Now we're on hole number 13, 483 feet, par 3. Looking back at the scores so far today, no one has birdied this hole, which is not surprising because it's a blind basket it's tucked down in the trees and you throw out this clear fairway but then you got to drop into the woods and if you drop in early you're in blackberries um, I haven't seen anybody throw it too far which this would be a good hole to go further where you've got a cleaner shot to get in on the basket Finish out with three pars and one double bogey. Hit metal. Moving on to hole number 14. It's a 730 foot par four. And as you watch this come in, this is Carter's shot, and he just missed my chair. Two or three inches, maybe from the base of my chair. I'm glad that uh, it didn't interfere with this throw. Good, good shot. That was a good, good shot, dude. Yeah. Big 
cart or whatever it takes just to stay off the path, dude. What? Whatever it takes to stay off the path. I'm just right. I'm trying to... What they're talking about is the cart path is out of balance. Popular caddy for saying, Carter? Forehand flex. <laughs> Great to see the players Perfect. helping each other. That's the level of sportsmanship we've got here. Um, the cart path is out of bounds. We can't stand on it. If his disc landed on it, it would have been out of bounds as well. He's in a tough spot because his disc is up under the bush, and that tree is in the way, and then he's got the cart path right there. can't really do it backhand. He's telling him to do a forehand flex, and... Uh, it's going to curve out and then bank back to the left. Oh, and it faded to the right. Tough play. Oh, no. And they finish out with a couple of birdies and a couple of birdies. On to hole 15, 471 feet, par 3. It has a sand trap pit right in front of the hole, so if you hit that, it'll kind of catch your disc and keep you from sliding up to the nice. basket. Because of the sand trap and the slide uphill, this hole plays a bit long. This hole favors a lefty. Let's see how Kai does. Oh, oh yeah. Come on. Right. Go. Get there. Get right. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Yes. Nice layup. That was a smart shot. Hard to be aggressive on a shot like that because. The basket is up high on that hill, and if you overthrow it, you got a long putt to come back and finish for par. Awesome putt for the birdie. Everybody else got a par. Hole number 16, 309 feet par 3. There's about a 15 or 20 foot drop on this hole, so it plays really short. But the way to the right behind those trees, it plays really well for a left hand backhand throw, or as you just saw, for a right hand forehand.
pair of birdies and a pair of pars. Hole 17, 825 feet. It is by far the longest hole of the course, and it plays long. It plays long because you're throwing across this valley, and if you throw it good, you're going to end up down near Ooh. the bottom of it. If you throw it short, you're going to end up in blackberries. There has been one birdie on this hole, actually, and that was by Nicholas Duran on the card just ahead of these guys. So let's see how the leaders play this hole. <laughs> that's Kai playing it up to the gallery that's gathered here at the 17th basket. Basket 17 and 18 are both close to each other, and all the other players have finished their rounds. This is the last group for the day, and they're just watching the leaders play out their match. Tough break there, but I don't think that's going to make a difference. Carter is in the lead by four strokes, and they've got just one hole left. I want to take a moment to point out the links I have down below. There are links to the videos for the front and back nine of round two, as well as the front nine of round three. I do not have anything for round one. That was on Friday, and I wasn't there. But you can see the results for all three days if you go to pdga.com and find the Kayak Point open. And be sure to check out discgolfscene.com for more information about the tournament. And then, of course, if you go to discgolfresort.com, you can learn all about Kayak Point, which is right here where this is being held. And if you'll take a moment to click the subscribe button, you can see my other videos that I'll be sharing on disc golf, as well as other adventures that I take and then click the bell and you'll get notified when I post a new video. So with all of that, let's get back to the action. On to the final hole of the round and the tournament. Hole 18 is 426 feet, par three. It's uphill and it has a gauntlet of trees. It's not so much a matter of if you're gonna hit a tree as which tree are you gonna hit. But if you happen to get through the trees, you've got a pretty good chance of getting a bird.
The final results of the Open Division. Carter Aaron's in first place at 20 under. Josiah Nelson at 16 under. Then Nicholas Duran, he was from the second card at 15 under. And Kai Kim at 15 under for fourth place. Those are the results. And here's a photo of first and third place winners. And here's a picture of Carter with his first place trophy.